Gabriela Roscoe, the Mexican contemporary artist, opened his first solo show for three years here in Mexico City last month at the Curimansuto Art Gallery. Pata de elefante, which is like um, a kind of palm that grows and has a very big base. So I open up and you can see the bottom with, and I put these eyes of glass. Why the eyes? I don't know. I think it's because I never make drugs when I was a kid. I have never the chance to make marijuana or anything. I still don't do drugs. So it's a way of like just doing something like very, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess it has a lot of psychological implications, but it's a very surrealistic piece. I don't think I am a very surrealistic artist. But sometimes I get wild and I get some into surrealism a little bit. Orozco used natural materials that he gathered from the Mexican states of Puebla, San Luis Potosí, Querétaro and Oaxaca to put together the show. So where did the idea come from? I think it comes from just what, you know, collecting and recollecting is part of my work. Normally I do it in the, in the cities. I did it in New York. I, do, I, I, I have been doing that in Mexico City since a very long time. So I was trying to see, okay, what is the trash in the country? Like nopales, they use these nopales, the ones that are here. Normally they use them to, to, to burn the field because it's very good for, for fire, very quick. So they are all around, but nobody cares about them. So I collect them, and um, it was a, it's like a way of working I do. It's collecting and recycling what is happening in my landscape. Orozco now lives between Mexico City, Paris, and New York. Does he miss Mexico when he's not here? I guess that everybody feels about its own country when you are away. There is a mix of very strong feelings when you have a country that has problems, which I guess everybody has a country like that. But in the case of Mexico, especially now, is I think that sometimes the perception from the outside is not exactly the same as the one we have inside. I think it's much more safe that people think. That's what I think. When I'm away, it's just like, I, I don't miss anything. I am not like somebody who misses things. So I'm not nostalgic in general. The opening of Orozco's show was surprisingly well attended, given the swine flu outbreak ripping Mexico City at the time of the opening. His art, it appears, was worth the risk.